All right, if we jump back into our final composite that we need to reference, we just finished up the text. Now we're going to be adding the light streaks. So let's do that. All right, so we're going to create a new solid, make it comp size, color doesn't matter, and we're going to move it below. Actually, we can do it above the text, hide it, and we're going to take the pen tool, zoom in here, and we're going to trace an outline of where we want it to come from and where we want it to end up. So I'm thinking we do it from here, goes around, and then ends up right here. All right, so we just trace it around here. doesn't have to be exact, or we can make it exact either way. Oh, I forgot to start on zero, so that's okay. We're going to have it end at about six frames, so we can hide the text here. Go in, adjust these. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, so just something close. All right. All right, so there we go. We're going to go in here to the mass settings, hit M, keyframe it, go back to frame one, and we're going to readjust it again. Coming down, here we go. You want it to be pretty close, but like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. All right, so there we go. It animates into position. Good enough. So now we're going to add the effects. So the first thing we're going to do is generate a stroke effect. Stroke, going to bump it up to about 4.5. That's fine. Add to transparent. And now we can view it so we'll see the actual line. Adjust the color. Bring it up to about here. And then we're going to pump up the red a little bit. Past 1. That way it's super white. That looks pretty good. Then we're going to distort it using the turbulent displace and before we do that we're going to give it some roughened edges. Uh, we can hide the turbulent displace. Uh, so the border we're going to increase a little bit but we're going to definitely bring down the scale. That way it's not as dramatic. That looks pretty good. Turn on the turbulent displace. It's displacing it too much. So we're going to slide the actual size down so that it has more ripples in the effect. And this is where you can be more creative than I am. That's looking pretty good. You can even bump up the roughened edges here and increase the size. That way it's a little bit. And this is where you can play around see what you like. And that looks pretty good. All right, then we're going to start animating. So what we're going to do is hit the start and the end. We're going to start here at frame zero, which is fine. So reveal the keyframes using U. Go in here, put the end at 100. Both are at 100. So come back here, and then we're going to put both at zero. Now the trick is, is you want the start to start after the end, so it looks like that. That way you see just the streak here animating on. 